Uh, good afternoon. I'd like to welcome everyone to Friendship Moments again. Uh, it's just a, I know it sounds like a broken record, but it's a pleasure to be in God's house and to bring his word. And uh, the way we're using the internet, and it's just a blessing to be able to do this. We're glad God's in control and he gives us the ability to, you know, to use it and, and use it the right way. And tonight, uh, the title of my devotional is Let Peace Rule. You know, when you're in God, you have peace. You know, he, he keeps us above the storms and any of the bad stuff that comes along. But we always have to remember God's in control and he'll get you through it because he already knows the end of what you're going through. But we don't. But he will get you through it if you'll just trust him and let him guide you. So I'm going to read from Galatians chapter 3. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections, affections on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Yeah, amen. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate afflictions, evil, concupiscence, you'll have to excuse my vocabulary, um, and covetousness, which is idolatry. You know, that was the Jews. A lot of their problem was unbelief and idolatry. They, uh, it was just unreal. When you read the word, you know what the, how they were. I mean, and God was very gracious with his people. I mean, he was for what they went through, and it was just unreal. Let not one, excuse me, lie not one one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. And then put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of, of mind, meekness, long-suffering, <clears throat> forbearing one another and forgiving one another if any man have a quarrel against any. Even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. Forgive people. Don't carry a grudge. I mean, don't try to get even. You know, you forgive them. It's all about love. <laughs> and above all these things, put on, it says charity, but it's love, which is the bond of perfectionist. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also you are called in one body, and be you thankful. Let the word of Christ Dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. What a blessing. You know, that's, that's the reason God created us, was to glorify him and to love him and uh, to worship him. That's the reason he created man. And uh, when you belong to Christ, you should seek godly things. 
It shouldn't all be about what you wear and for the type of car that you drive. If you live a life committed to Christ, peace will rule in your heart. And others will want to be around you because you emulate Jesus. You know, if you're a belly aker and you're crying and griping all the time, ain't nobody going to be want to be around you. <laughs> but if you're showing love and, you know, treating people right, they'll want to be with you or be around you. And, and that's the way it should be. You might be sitting amongst somebody that don't know Christ, and if they see you, the joy that you have and the peace that you have, they might want some of that. And God might open their hearts, and, you know, there's a lot of Lydia's out there, and they just have to hear it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. Thank you for another beautiful day, even though it's kind of cloudy and overcast. But, you know, dear Lord, we need those kind of days. It makes us appreciate when the sun does shine. And dear Lord, I thank you for being in control. You're, you control everything, Father. You know, these scientists out here worry about the, the weather and they worry about the, the oceans and the rising of, of the levels, but they don't know your word, Father. You know, you said that they are set in their boundaries and you control their boundaries, but yet we still worry about it and we spend a lot of money on trying to figure out all this kind of stuff, but but they don't realize that you control it all, Father. We just need to put our trust into you and quit worrying about it because you, you control all. And dear Lord, again, I thank you for this little church by the road. It's just amazing what you're doing here. I thank you what for what this little remnant has accomplished through you, Father, and what we've done here. Thank you for the spirit being strong, dear Lord, and Thank you for everything that you do for us. In your precious and holy name we pray. Amen.